What up, it's your boy. Back in again today, baby. Hey, it's about to go down. I'm about to do my favorite thing. I was in the grocery store wondering what I'm gonna cook today. Say, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and make some oxtail stew, man. This is about to be amazing. So, really simple. We got our oxtails. I have already washed and washed them off. Then I got some celery here, some onions, some green peppers, some orange peppers, red peppers, yellow peppers, just all the different kinds of peppers. This is gonna be my main season right here with a little pepper on it. Then I got some uh, tomato sauce and tomato, stewed tomatoes, and I'm gonna use two cups of beef broth. I'm also gonna add in some carrots and potatoes, but I'm gonna add that in later. So first what we're gonna start by doing is, we're gonna go ahead and put the saison in, in here. And the reason why I'm using this is because it has pretty much all the salt, the garlic, the onion powder, and everything in there. This is like an all-in-one. The only thing is missing is the black pepper. So we go put a little just black, uh, pure ground black pepper in here. So, I'm gonna just mix it up with my hands. My hands, I have a wash them, they're clean. So, we're gonna go ahead, I'm gonna brown, brown them in a pan. So let me go wash my hands off and I'm gonna get the grease hot and ready. Now that our grease is nice and hot, we're gonna go ahead and put our oxtails on. We're gonna try to get all sides brown. Stay tuned and let these brown. We got a nice brown crust on both sides. We'll go ahead and take them over here. Go ahead and move our next batch the same exact way.
Yeah, now we have all our oxtails nice and brown crust all the way around. Now that we're done browning the oxtails, I'm gonna go ahead and put them in my slow cooker. I got a slow cooker bag for easy cleanup. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add in my my whole onion. I'm gonna add in some yellow peppers, some red peppers, some orange peppers, and some green peppers. And I'm gonna add in four stalks of celery. Now I'm gonna go ahead and place my stewed tomatoes in. Just pour it over top, like so. And I'm gonna add in my tomato sauce. I'm gonna add in two cups of beef broth. Just pour it over top. Okay. Now we're gonna go ahead and turn our crock pot on high and let it cook. We'll come back and check on it in a couple hours. Okay, so it's been six hours so far. We're gonna go ahead and add in our carrots right now. I have some fresh carrots. You can use canned carrots, just your choice. We'll add our potatoes in in about 30 minutes once the carrots start to soften up. Okay, we'll be back in 30 minutes. All right, so now it's been the 30 minutes as fast. We haven't had the oxtails cooked for six and a half hours. I'm gonna go ahead and add in my potatoes. Stir these in. They're probably gonna need about 30 minutes to get nice and not too mushy, but to the doneness level that we want them at. All right, stay tuned. Okay, so it's been eight hours and our oxtails are finally done. I know you guys have been waiting for this because I know I have been a long eight hours. So our final eight hours have passed by. Man, I've been waiting for this. Can't wait to dig in. Hey, thanks for tuning in to this video. Be sure to drop a comment. Hey, and hit the like button. Hey, for you new viewers out there, go ahead and push that subscribe button so you become part of this family. Thanks for tuning in. Peace out.